Hello again, uh, Livia Gonzalez at thecolorist.com, Art Lessons for All. Um, today, experimenting with my uh, cell phone, trying to make these videos for you. Um, um, I like you try with your kids at home, since uh, we are isolated. This is what we're going to make, a little um, um, still life. We're going to convert this in a phone. Here I am getting ready to study my, um, my uh, still life. I'm using um, Hanson mixed media 7 by 10 inches, 98 pounds. So I'm going to paint with acrylic. And I like to put the tape just to give it a little frame. It's just um, looks, but I like it the way. Also, when you're going to frame, um, you have a, a flash, uh, I mean, a, a line, a straight line here. Yeah. I put all around the thing. Okay, uh, always the format, which, how they will look um, good in my painting. Um, I think they better if it be, they go this way. Uh, also, never divide your paint, your paper right in the middle. Try to make your horizon line a little bit lower. Uh, your sky bigger or your land bigger, one of the two. Uh, usually divide in three thirds. Uh, this is going to be the lake. And my, my, the mom, let's say this is mom, it's a little bigger. I make an oval that goes over my, um, over my horizon line. The head is a little bit, it's not right here, it's a little bit inside the, this one and it's a circle and then the little guy also fit behind not as big as mom and they had the same thing the beak goes like a, little, a curved line there and enter here um, goes in front here this part comes out and do the little one. Enter like a smile, go out, front, from here, goes there. Even though this one don't have um, um, the little tails here in the back, the little feather, I love to make them. I'm going to paint my little ducklings. Always wet your brush. I put wet the brush and the paper. I like to wet the paper. It gives me few more seconds um, because acrylics dry so fast. Then I wet my paper. Not so wet that they will bubble, but I just and then start painting. Uh, at the corner and make sure you go and make this the circle like a circle this side this way and this the brush go this way and over here go this way that helps you to give you vol volume um, to your shapes so with the corner this Teeny tiny space, then use the corner or use a smaller brush. Now I'm going to paint my sky. I put my water. Just make sure you don't touch that yellow please. Painting just my sky. I'm going to put white on it. Nice touch. 
Okay, usually I paint the sky first, backgrounds first, but I don't know why I started <laughs> like this, but I'm not going to really start. Uh, paint you the sky first, please don't do like me. Do what I say, not what I did. Okay. Um, run outside go all over the white that you put it before will help you to keep it a little longer uh, workable because uh, they dry really fast and if it is can take it even more okay uh, I'm going to do the same I'm going to put water on my water, water on my water, yes, this is the lake, and a little bit of blue, I'm going to put this sky darker, a little dark, you can let it go lighter next to the horizon, that will give you um, depth, In the water, I want it lighter. Okay. Wash your brush every time you um, done with the color. Please wash your brush. There is acrylic that is stick to everything except plastic. But um, okay. Um, I'm going to make, um, since I want to make a little reflection here, you see the shadow, but I want to uh, transform it in reflection. Okay. And I'm going to, I put a white, not to, as I say, yellow and blue give you a uh, green. Um, even though it can be a green, uh, green if there are trees around right now, we don't have so many trees. Then, uh, while that dries, I'm going to use my red to paint my little. Um, See, just the tip of the brush. No pressure at all, please. If you put pressure that could be that big. And put your finger or your hand on over the support and you will anchor your hand together. Okay. Uh, I can make some lines, uh, some uh, clouds. This is whimsical um, painting for kids, as I said. Um, don't want it to make it so complicated. Little, little uh, uh, clouds in the around here that give you the impression that it's far away. Maybe another one here. Okay. Um, let's put some grass. My, if 
six wet. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of blue on this green to make it darker to make some different um, put contrast on my grass. Okay. Let's make um hmm. I don't I didn't bring the black from there, but I can make a really dark thing here. If I mix all my primary colors, red, blue, and blue, I will get a dark color. The thing is getting there. I can use it for my um, eyes here. And I can use it for my, I'm going to put a tree here. I'm going to put the dark green. Not you see what I'm doing. Blue and green to make the dark the the tree, the forest, the shadow. Leave some spaces there. And then let's put the light color, the light green. The light is coming from here, I said. As an artist, I can decide where the light is coming. And then a little bit of yellow, green, and white to make some highlights too much water. Yes, turn your brush over your towel and get the tippy tippy stuff. A little that for this guy and a little one, a little bigger for that one. I'm going to make some ripples here with the blue. Got it. Wiggly. Wiggly. And they go like around and with the little tie. To be. Anyway, I'm going to put some white in between my ripples. I 
que nos toca caminar en sus jóvenes príncipes. Pero reflexiona el bosque. Remember, whatever is up there, reflexiona the water. And a little bit of this here. The reflections are right under. And a little bit of white on the my clouds from from a star. Not too much shape, but no cover all all the Oh, I'm missing my wings. I'm just put a little wing in there. A little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. And I'm going to make like a um, coma lay down. Oh, that's too big. I must have a eraser, it's a paper. If you don't like what you do, use a wet paper, paper towel, but make sure you do it fast as can be. And again, too big for the little guy. It's too much water. That's my, the problem I'm having. And And I go and put a little bit of that color red. Oh, I lost my tail. See? In that case, I covered with yellow, I mean with white. I covered with white. And let it dry. But since I don't have time to let it dry, I'm going to put it here. But see, make sure it's dry. Because the color under, doing what I'm doing right now, the color under will show. But when it's dry, white cover. Okay, we have the life um, here from those packets there. Oh, sign. I'm going to sign this color with blue for you. Here. Make sure you have a point. I was missing water. Okay. Okay. Let's take this. And there you have darkness in a pond. Um, you're welcome to try. Hey, let me some comments there, please. Bye.